I click in, uh, I click in uh, uh, to inform her about the movie, uh, the progress that me and Louis Burrell, my man out of Oakland, was making on uh, getting a budget. And when she told, she clicked over, and all this was in court documents. She clicked over and told the fans, hey, wait up, this cuff on the other end. And when they heard cuff, they lost their mind. So they and tried, fuck, so they... Fuck, fuck Fidel right. and directed this toward me. But the original target was Fidel. So how much did he uh, incur in terms of legal action or pursuit? Did they try to pursue him at the same time? Or once they knew you were in the mix, they was like, fuck him. Let's just they, get this They dropped movie. him. They were like, fuck him. It, and, and, they, and, and it was really hard explaining this to a federal judge. So you went at this nigga, Cuff, over a, over a known cartel member who not only beat you all out, uh, uh, in 2005, um, so uh, they they had a hard time in the courtroom explaining that to the judge. Uh, but that's just how much vitriol they have for for brothers. You understand? Right. And this was a case out of St. Louis. That the 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 the, the 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 indictment that came down where they attempted to get you was coming out. Did that originally out of St. Louis? It originated out of Atlanta, Georgia. But it stunk. It stunk to the highest power. Uh, so the agent gave it to the St. Louis agents. Got so, it. Uh, all the all the work and all the dirty shit was done in Atlanta, and and so that raised red flags. So the the judge was like, what, "Why would you bring this case down there and not file it in Atlanta, Georgia?" Uh, well, we just felt like it would move faster down, and so it, none of it made any sense. Damn. So from what I understand, Cuff, they got you on some bullshit. A ghost gun and a bunch of bullshit. How how long have you been in, and what is your chances of beating this now and getting out early on what you've been served? We 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 believe uh, by the mercy of Allah that we are in really really good shape. Um, uh, when Meacham case went in the toilet, they indicted me on two homicides. They they panic and they indicted me on two homicides based on my co-defendant uh, 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 statements. So I had to plead. I had to plead to 27 years. How long you been in there, so, Cuff? Since 2013. Okay. So, so what ended up happening was uh, I pled to the conspiracy with uh, with Tammy Cowens, uh, and there was 10, 10 years for that, which I finished. Uh, and now I'm serving the 17 years. So this is what happened. Instead of me pleading to the murders, they let me plead to an invisible gun, homie. Mm. And at the time, I didn't, I didn't know the significance of it because 27 years was 27 years. I didn't, I didn't know any better. But my attorney told me that they fucked up. You don't have a gun. You never had a gun. They don't even allude to you having a gun, and they let you plead to a gun. So, based on procedure, it sounds like they broke a lot of the rules. And procedures, so you may have grounds to get appealed or to get released because you've done a significant uh, portion of your time. No, oh, ba- no, no. It ain't, ain't no morals and principles in this system. Um, um, uh, based on the law of the possession, you have to possess. I have to have a gun. It's really simple. It's like me charging you with um, stolen property. The government has to have the property. It can't be just words. Well, mine is just words, if that makes sense to you. The lower courts are saying to the appellate courts, and that's where it's stuck at now, that the government must produce a gun. Well, there is no gun, you understand? Because I pled based on some statements. The, gov- the government don't have a weapon. Like everybody in here who got gun charges, you can look in their paperwork. It says a 38 Smith & Weston, made in West Virginia, serial number, blah, 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 blah. I don't have none of that because they don't have a gun, if that makes sense to you. So they basically forged your case, so you may have an additional case later on for false imprisonment. Well, no, because uh, what you have to do is file ineffective systems of counsel and file the appeal the way we file the appeal. And your relief is, is, is basically the, 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 the court saying, uh, the higher court saying that if you don't have a weapon, you must release him. Hmm. And the government don't have a weapon, so uh, they know they're in trouble. They 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 know they know that this is one big quagmire, and and that's where we're at. So you basically just waiting for the due diligence now for them to run out of time to produce this 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 item that never existed. Well, no, we're waiting on a case called U.S. versus Anderson. Anderson case. 
case is, uh, is similar to mine, very similar, identical to mine. And that's the preceding case. That means that it came before mine. But my case is identical to U.S. versus Anderson. Once they rule on Anderson, and the courts are saying that uh, you have to, uh, in order for Anderson to be found guilty or held on a weapon, the government must possess a weapon. So and, and, and set so, precedence uh, for your case. Fi- and we follow that same, we, we, we fall up under that same guideline. Excellent. And how is that proceeding now? Is that, that moving forward through the courts? That's moving forward in the courts, and that's uh, and that's one of the that's one of the that's a preceding case. Uh, what what the, the, a lot of people are waiting on, because uh, in this federal system for decades they was locking up black and brown men on ghost drugs. Well, that got ruled unconstitutional, and now the same thing is getting ready to happen, where white folks are, are charging black and brown men with with, with ghost guns. Wow. It sounds like you become kind of legally up in there, man. Are you, you know, uh, you familiar with Isaac Wright? Isaac Wright, not not offhand. He's the guy who Fifty Cent did a TV show on. He was a guy who got convicted on some RICO charges, and he became an attorney while in jail. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Case. I heard about that. And Fifty did a story of was trying to do yep. it to base one of them series off of him. Yep. Yeah, I heard about him. Yep, 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 yep. He'd be his case. Hey, it. man. Hey, Cal. This joint finna cut off, man. You know we only get 15 minutes. I already know. You know. When you're talking with a real guy, I can talk to you all day. You, you feel me? Yes, sir. Well, you're giving, you know me, you're giving me some good I, You're giving me some good, some good stuff, man, that I'm going to be able to use and put together. Uh, because Whenever you need me, man, hit my queen, and I'm right on your line. Man, come on, man. All day, man. Tell Sosa get that number on my man for me, man. Already did. Already got him on it. And I'm going to get an address so I could send you out some stuff, too. Uh, you know, magazines. What can you get? Books, magazines, all kinds of stuff like that? Yeah, they have to come from the distributor. Um, so the book company will have to send them. Okay. Okay. But I'm okay, man. I don't need nothing, man.